Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I will be reviewing this drawing tablet that I received from XP Pen. This one is the XP Pen Artist Pro 14 Gen 2. At first I was really hesitant to accept this because I as you guys know, I mostly do traditional art and a lot of my digital artworks are in the background for me to do my thumbnailing and do adjustments on my paintings and all of that. But they assured me that they wanted to reach out to traditional artists to see a different perspective on the drawing tablet and that's why I will be reviewing this now. I will still have a link to all of the technical stuff you'll need to know in the description but for my review i will be focusing on how the tablet feels how the pen works and how the pen feels on top of the tablet how the colors look on top of it things like that the box on this is absolutely gorgeous i got this three months ago and i still have the box just because i think the artwork is beautiful other than the usual wires i think you'd be expected from drawing tablets like this with plugs for an extra power source this one also came with a pen case which came with eight extra nibs on it there are also two different kinds of nibs which i will talk about later and this shortcut remote which i will talk more about later as well the setup for me was very easy I thought it was going to be complicated because of all the stuff that came in the box but it's just super easy. I just used one of the type C to C wires and connected it to my laptop and I was able to use it. I think that would depend on what kind of laptop you're using, if you would need an extra power source and all that but for me it was very easy and was also less cluttered on my table with just one of the wires to my laptop when I use it. I have been using this tablet for three months now and I would have to say that I really really like it and I initially thought that it was going to be too big just because when I first got my iPad Pro which is 13 inches I was a little surprised at how big it was and at first it was kind of hard for me to navigate it because it's because of the size but for this because of the aspect ratio I think it doesn't feel too big and before I got it I thought I was going to be bothered by the big bezels but because of how I use it with it being just on my lap mostly I just have it on the desk for now because it's easier to catch on camera like that. I sort of like that there's a lot of room before there's the screen because I can have my hands on it without covering much of the artwork and my workspace. There's just a lot more room for my hands to draw and it just feels a lot more comfortable. The curved edges on this I think is beautiful, especially here at the bottom. I don't, it just feels really sleek to me. It doesn't feel bulky. I love carrying it on me. In fact, I wish I could use it without any wires <laughs> because it feels a lot like a tablet and less like something bulky that I need to run heavy apps on like like clip studio paint that i'm using there's a kickstand at the back if you want to draw on it flat on the table and i think that the angle on it is exactly right i have back problems so usually i would notice when something feels off right away i don't feel uncomfortable when i draw on it for hours at a time when it's on the table but again, I mostly just have it on my lap because of how sleek and smooth it feels. But in case you guys do want to use it on your desk, I think it's a very subjective thing, the angle that works for people. But for me, the angle on the kickstand really works in exactly the right way that it's holding up the tablet. And also when I have it on my lap, like I do with my iPad, the screen feels bigger. Even though this is the same size as my laptop, I think, or maybe even the laptop is a little bit bigger. Because I use it with it closer to my face, it just feels a lot bigger than my laptop. The finish on the screen is hard for me to explain. It's not glossy, but it's also not textured, which I was scared of because I really don't like the matte screen protectors on my laptop. I don't like the added texture when I draw. This, I think, it's the perfect 
in between between having a glossy finish and having a textured screen to draw on this one almost feels soft to the touch not like very hard and glossy glass i really love it but i think textures finishes like this on screens just make the details less sharp than if it was just the glass on the screen because i have I did the same thing for my laptop, it came very glossy and I just added a matte screen protector on it and it looks exactly like this drawing tablet now. I wanted to talk about the colors on the drawing tablet too because I think they are beautiful. In fact, they almost look too beautiful because when I transfer my artworks onto my laptop screen, I sometimes feel disappointed because there were colors that I see when I was drawing on the tablet that didn't really show up that well on my laptop. And maybe that's just something I need to get used to or maybe I need to have either of these screens calibrated. But since I'm not too savvy with that, I'll just deal with it for now. As for how the screen feels when I'm drawing on it. Like I said, it's not textured like the paper-like screen protectors, which I really disliked for some reason. I just, I just really didn't like that artificial feel to the texture on the screen. This one doesn't feel fully like glass, so the pen doesn't just glide around on it, but it also is not super textured. It just feels a little bit soft. Um, it's hard to explain. It just feels a little bit soft. Just the perfect mix between the two. I wanted to talk about parallax, which is the distance between the pen and the actual drawing on the screen. Before I got this, I actually expected there to be very noticeable parallax because, well, just because of how the screen feels. Just this soft matte quality to the screen. I thought it was just gonna be an extra layer between the actual drawing and my pencil. But I didn't notice that. In fact, I had to go back before I did this review so I could check if there was any. And it really doesn't look like it. I had to check again because, because I didn't believe it was this good. But I have to have my face fully on the screen to be able to see a tiny gap between the pen and the actual screen that I'm drawing on. So, so I think that's really good because to me, when I draw, it really just felt like there was nothing. I wanted to talk about the pen too. This is supposed to have 16k pressure levels on it, but if I'm being honest, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> All I can say is it feels very natural. I was able to get a lot of thickness variations depending on the pressure I'm putting on it. And even the smallest feather light touch on the screen got me something which I was really impressed by. So maybe 16k means a lot of pressure levels. <laughs> Also, I wanted to talk about how the pen itself just feels on my hand. What I'm just not used to, I think, is the actual shape of the pen. Where I hold it is where it's the thickest, so it's really hard for me to adjust to that. I think because I'm so used to my pencil on my iPad that I'm used to a uniform shape in my pencil. It's also the same way when I draw traditionally, so maybe that's why um, I just needed a little bit more time to get used to this shape. I also had accidental touches in the buttons on here because I use the buttons so much. The other end of it can be used as, as an eraser, but I just don't use it. I'm not used to it. I know that if I just use the eraser on the other end, it would help me with my accidental touches on the buttons, but since I don't, when I first started, I would accidentally hit the buttons and switch between my eraser and pencil. So that was something that I had to get used to and I did eventually, but there are still times when I have accidental touches on it. I also wanted to talk about the nibs that came with the pencil. There are four of them and there are two different types, the black nibs. I think it's the first one that I put on it and I disliked it right away. I, to me, it just felt very plasticky and I didn't like the feel of the plastic on my tablet. And so I switched it out for the white and I think that it's so much better. It feels softer. It also gives it a more natural texture when I draw on the screen. So 
in case you guys are thinking of getting it and if the black nibs don't work for you just try out the white ones because to me they are better but again that's a very personal thing The last thing that I wanted to talk about is my favorite accessory that came with the box and this is the wireless remote. I just love this one. This is essentially buttons that you can program into anything. So if you want to have an undo button, you can just program one of these buttons to do that. I actually only programmed two of them for my drawing. I have one for the undo button and another one for redo. Uh, but I use this for things that are outside of my drawing, so I actually edit my videos using this because I love just clicking on it and especially the dial, I love this dial. Sometimes I would be excited to draw on my tablet just so I can turn this dial. The clicks are very satisfying and I just really, really love this thing. I honestly think that if this didn't came in the box with the tablet, that I wouldn't get the tablet. I think this wireless remote just completes the tablet because it allows the actual tablet to be buttonless but it also adds a lot more function than if we had only a few buttons on the tablet so yeah i just really love this one i also just love turning the style <laughs> like i've already said so yeah that is my review for the artist 14 pro as for the drawing that i'm doing on it it's just a little fan art of last night in soho which i saw fairly recently and yeah that is it for this one thank you guys for watching and i will be seeing you guys again soon